Switzerland and Appenzell, where I live, the canton where I live, is just um, incredibly clean, incredibly beautiful, just visually, and it has a sense of, of, of peace as well. It just resonates health for me. It's a, it's, it resonates with also who I am and what I believe in. I believe very strongly that um, women, girls should have access to education, should have the basic human right of, of hygiene. I only realized why sanitation is so important after my first visit to India. I was 22 years old and a very young mother asked me if I would look after her, her two small children so she could find it or look for a quiet spot to, to go to the toilet. Um, that was, I'd never been confronted with such an issue before and that's actually traveled and, and stayed with me for many, many years. It was a taboo and um, it was something that I, I believed really needed to, to be addressed. I, I personally feel that um, education and safe sanitation is just, or, or health is a, is a basic human right. When Andrew first came to me to seek help and assistance in propagating her message about the sanitation problem that we have in India, and trying to create a company and an initiative to try to alleviate that suffering, it didn't take me very long to decide yes, it, probably was just maybe a couple of seconds, an immediate reply to the email, I'm in, I'm all in. What Andrew wanted to do is increase the awareness for her project. And how we thought after brainstorming a little bit of to really show that is to um, uh, desensitize the subject a little bit by allowing children of four to six years old to talk about poop, which is a fantastic thing to actually do. Um, so we, we gathered a few uh, kids um, in a school in Bahrain and we uh, put them together and we asked them a few questions about, about poo. <laughs> and uh, the result of that, these clips that we provided, ultimately made it into the awareness film that we did for uh, Abati. I think uh, uh, technically India could have solved this problem many years ago. So it seems to be a, a, a really cultural problem. So you have to convince people by people that there are other approaches or other necessities to, to solve this problem. And, and so the technical solution comes afterward when the, the people is convinced or has understood that uh, such simple things like hand washing is, is, is essential to, to a, a situation or toilets or things like that. I think everyone wants to make an impact in somehow, some level or form and being able to cooperate with, with people of uh, like-minded people, I think that's been the beauty of Abati and giving each other's um, skill sets that we've developed from years and years of, of working in various areas. It's, um, being the powerful motivator behind our party.